Hey guys, welcome to Northwest Car. Um, this is going to be a special sort of episode. Today, we're in France. Um, this is called, I think it's called Pinouse, La Croix, the point, something like that. And um, it's got two lakes on the side. There's this lake behind me, which I'm fishing, and there's another one called Boating Lake. Um, done pretty well so far. Turned up last night after quite a long journey. Um, got here, and I thought I may as well put my bivvy up in that. So, yeah, got the bivvy up. See, it's just car going past. Yeah, got the bivvy up in there for right. I've got some solid bags already tied up that I made at home, and I thought I may as well whack them out. And in the first hour, I, um, I had two fish. One was like a low double, and then I had a 24 pound common. Um, I'll put the pictures on in a minute after this little clip. And um, yeah, after that, I said, bring my rods and get some sleep. And um, wake up this morning, put the rods back out again. I had another two fish. And I um, had breakfast, came back, just put my rods back out again and got another one now. Um, it's only a small one, I've got enough, I've got it in this sling at the moment, as you can probably see, which is hopefully, blah, you can't see it on the screen, but it's behind me anyway. And um, it's only a little one, but I'll show it you now. Um, I've got a stunning little common, that's all of them in common so far. So yeah, I'll get it out and show you what it's all about. Alright then, um, I'll get out the sling now. Like I said, only a small one, but. Running little fish. I am. I've been in the sling for about five minutes, so it's gonna stop flapping about, but here we go. <laughs> yeah, I'll love your little comment. Um, well, yeah, there you go. I'll get it back because it's absolutely mental. Right then, I was gonna show you basically what tactics we could catch the fish on. Um, at the moment, solid bags. I mean, nice and simple. I can tie plenty of them up in advance. Um, sure do. A little section of lead core like that. Solid bag. And if it was like a two ounce running um, in line lead on there. And that's been doing the business. Inside there, I'm actually getting the Lexi Bates Rose Hit. Um, yeah, the Rose Hit Pro Fish Royalties. And it's crushing up into a powder. Then I'm adding some of the CC More. What's this? Engage. Oh, they off. I thought my theme is still is. <laughs> there we are. I get her back and I put the pictures on so. Wait. <laughs> again. Yeah, the exact rig I just had that in 25 on was this. Inline lead, that safe to leave I called it. I didn't rate it that much by the way. I wouldn't advise you get these. I think you're better off a lead core. Um, this is about 9 in, I don't know, probably even a bit longer than that. And what it is is. You got a maggot over the top of the eye of the hook, so it's maggot liner. And then you got a bit of braid, and I just do it, just tie it on with a granny knot to so that bend of the hook there. And then what was on it was one of these big dumbbells from Lexi Bates. These are the Rose at Pro Fish. I've had these specially rolled for me, but I'm sure uh, Mike, the owner, will do it for you as well. These are 18 mil dumbbells, and that was just sitting on the end of that, on the hair, like that. And that's what his name nailed that 25. Nailed in the bottom lip. I should have taken a picture really because he was absolutely nailed. Um, and that was all. I didn't put any um, like PV out with it. The only thing I put on was a PV nugget to make sure the hoop doesn't get like covered up in anything. So, <laughs> that, they're the tactics I've been using. Um, I'm going to get some more spud mix out after I got this back out. Oh, another thing, I've been clipping my lines up because, well, he just guarantees that all the bait's going over the top of this rig and it maximises my chances of catching, so, yeah, if we catch some more 20s, maybe a 30, <laughs> wicked, and then um, I'll make a run you through the spot mix that I've been using, um, basically, um, basically just part particle, you've got hemp in there, maize, chickpeas, um, little tiger nuts, um, really good mix of this, it's, I haven't made this myself, um, this is from my actual um, local tackle shop, Pickering's Burslem, and um, yeah, it was eight pound, and he came like a massive bag frozen. And um, well, yeah, and he's better than paying like ten quid or whatever it is for those little jars. Even though they are good if you're keeping them like in the back of your car or you want to store it for a long time, you have any freezer space. But yeah, it's an absolute great mix, and um, making it a bit better by adding um, that um, CC more ground bait stuff. In the, from salmon fry crumb, too much everything that was in um, the actual uh, solid bag mix I made. Yeah, that's clear all that. Then I'm adding a bit of uh, oil in there, which is, which 
for oil dip, um, I think some Nash boily dip oil. Then I put a bit of the Legacy Rose It Through Fish um, boily dip in there. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't recommend the bait more than what I am at the moment, sort of thing. You've seen, I've seen how it works, so. And it's not like one of those one baits that just seems to occasionally work. He's producing, like, most of the lads down there um, are fishing haven't had anything. They've had, they think, what one guy says, he had one all day. And um, I've done, done that already, so I think, my first day, not knowing the lake at all. So, obviously, bait's only a small part of what the actual fishing's about, but yeah, well, it works, so that's it. End the conversation about that. Um, what else do I need to mix is obviously, obviously those boilies. Um, I'll show you actually. Let me get my bag. Oh. Got loads of different sizes in here. Got 14, 18s, dumbbells, all mixed with sizes. Yeah, and uh, dropping them into the mix. What else we got in here? Put a um, small tin of corn in there. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'll show you the final result. Add a bit of water to it as well, and that just keeps it. More than any of it keeps it quite fresh. Oh, it's tipping everywhere. Um, yeah, and it's like sloppy as well, so it's a nice cloud. And um, if most people who know me know I like cloud in the water. Uh, I think it's just, it's just a big edge. If you can like mimic the fish feeding from the start off, why not use it sort of thing? And um, yeah, I reckon that's a good advantage. Definitely. <laughs> oh, look at that. Lovely. Yeah, and get some more spod mix out there. And I want a 30 you now. I'm dead shuffled already, but I want 30. I won't beat my English PB anyway, so. 25 12 to beat. Yeah, 25 pound 12. Boom! Oh, kick off again. Right then guys, about, yeah, about an hour ago, I um, decided to put some spod mix out and pull my lines out of the water and go have a shower, ready for the night. Just got back and um, we already missed £21.5, £21, I think, it, yeah, £21.5 common. It's got a massive mouth on it. Twenty one pound five. What are we coming? Straight up. Ah. Look at that. Wow. Oh, huge. Right then, let's slide it back. Stop. Twenty pound four anyway. I'll try to anyway. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> Absolute chuffed a bit. Twenty pound four first maybe. I'll take some pictures and we'll get back. Oh. <laughs> right then guys, um, as you've seen that that um, twenty pound there. Um, but I'm going back in the water, add some water shots from eating there. Um, it seems to take a little bit of a while to get his breath back. So they decided for the welfare of the fish, just put it in the retainer sling. Just put it in there for about 5 10 minutes to get his breath back. Well, so you saw your ear rods out and that. So um, they're definitely worth and they do the job. Um, yeah, and the help blacks had some water shots in here, just leave it in the sling to carry it out in that. And you've got something there as well, so you can just put it back down and you know it's not going to swim off, sort of thing. Yeah, definitely recommend them because they can help you when you're in a bit of trouble, sort of thing, especially when you're on your own. So, yeah, that's the Nash Fatin sling. Right then, guys, just put a bit more spot out there. And, um, another common. <laughs> £21 number that. Quite old, wildy sort of commons he's got. Lovely fish. There we are, £21. So there's plenty more to come. Alright uh, uh, guys, it's day three now. And as we're coming, this is £27.6.
Pound six. Only when you fish. It's raining outside, so I was good for the rigs that I've been catching the fish on so far. Basically, it's only about eight inches of her coated braise. I'm a little bit stripped back near the hook. She's got one of the quarter sinkers on there, so I think it's the medium sized one. And that just has to pin it all down, make sure that the fish can't get spooked off by it and they can't see it. Hook are the gardener muggers. I think that's the mugger anyway, something like that. And the gardener hooks. A little bit of uh, shrink tubing over the top. A bit of silicon. I, I've been pretty much using this rig. I've been changing between this and um, instead of the silicon, it's a micro rig thing instead. And they've been nailing the fish and all the all the back fish have been nailed either at the bottom of the lip or just slightly on the scissors. So they go have really good hook holds. I think I've only lost two yeah, I've lost two fish and they were really small little commons. So touch wood I won't lose any more. I'm glad that they've only been the little ones I've lost. Hoot bait, legacy rose hip throw fish, great bait. S smell like a really sweet, yeah, really sweet sort of smell. It's, it's really hard to describe. <laughs> but yeah, they've been really well, they working really well, obviously. I've got quite a few people coming round asking me what bait I'm on because they aren't catching it, and that's been saying, get on the legacy. <laughs> but yeah, th that is. That's big, simple as anything. I think um, quite a lot of people come over the fans have the misconception of thinking, oh, big fish, big baits, big hooks, and everything like that. I think size eight, you'll be fine. As long, long as you aren't, I, I seem to be like giving you some of the rods and everything. Just play the fish how you generally would. Make, make sure the clutch is set right, and you'll be fine. I think you'll get more bites using a small hook because it's just more, it's just more, it's more stealthy and it. Um, baits, these are the 18 millers, and uh, I'm only I'm only leaving about five mil of the uh, like underneath the hook on the hair. And normally I'd leave a bit longer, but for some reason I'm getting better hook holds with a shorter hair. I'm not sure that's because the mouths are bigger, but yeah, that's working anyway. So I'm gonna keep to that. <laughs> Pretty decent. Isn't it? Um, yeah, like I said earlier, this is day three now, and I think I've had seven twenties, an eighteen, and quite a few single figures. So I'm having a great time. I'll, I'll just show you the actual lake in a bit, because it's basically it's like a campsite sort of thing. And uh, we got the caravan just sort of behind me, about a hundred yards if that away from me. So I'm gonna snip across there quickly, get like something neat straight across again. And it's great, so I'll show you all the campsite stuff. But especially if you have a family like, like for me, my mum and dad and my two sisters come over, and everyone and my cousin and his family. And it's great because I get to do my fishing, which I enjoy, and I'm catching 20s, which is great. I know it's not like a huge uh, French standard sort of thing, but to catch that many 20s, I, won't, I couldn't catch that many 20s in the UK on a venue, so it's great. And I th it was, it was 35 euro for two weeks fishing and that's great it, it was 30 euros for an adult for per week that was so 30 euro 30 euros for an adult per week that's, that's great value so i'll put all the details like that on the video because it's something i really recommend going on holiday the place has got really facilities so yeah it's not just fishing it's great <laughs> switch in a bit anyway all right then guys just had another one it's about an hour after putting more squad mix out there. Fifteen pound. <laughs> Fifteen pound eight. Oh. It's an R5. Alright, that's good for it. There we go. Fifteen pound eight. Another common. We're glad we're gonna catch another mirror. Get a fish. Take some pictures now. One thing we've got with us is a big bucket of water to keep the fish moist all the time. It's lovely and wet. And then 
got some cork here, kit. It's a little bit on your finger. Oh, give the rod. There's a little bit of that on its mouth just to make sure that it doesn't make any damage. Yeah. There you guys, £24 for the one that's for to like sea moves in through fish boilies. It's a good sky for about two kilos out about an hour ago. We've had two good ones, lost one, and just had this one on the other one. So yeah, we'll get it back and get some more. It's a nice way to wake up in the morning, just save a £30. <laughs> Golden color, chat picky mobs going in. Right. Oh. Gorgeous fish, just over 30 pound. Yeah, get some pictures, then we'll slide it back. This is just under 20 pound at 19 pound 14. Another common. There we go again. Another one that's felt to the rosy, a uh, pro fish from Lacey Bates. This is about £14, £15. Pound. It's got a bit of a gash on his mouth, so I've put uh, a bit of a mouth care kit on it. This is his final day. We're going to put my rod back out and hopefully we'll catch some more. Great. Right, we've come to the end of the few days fishing now. We've had an absolutely great time. I myself have had quite a few mid doubles. I think I had over 10 then. Over 10 20s and a £30. Pounder. It's been great. So in total we did about five days fishing, didn't do any nights and we've had all that success and it's been great. We're just packing the caravan down now and then we're going to head over to Dunkirk and get the ferry across to Cali. Thanks for watching guys and hopefully you'll see us soon in this next episode. Cheers for watching.